So this is me drawing Hydrogaleptonics, the leopard seal, aka angry sock puppet of the ocean. Look at this, look at this guy. They have these weird like sock puppet mouths with teeth. So uh, what you see me doing right here in like 16 times speed is me just fleshing out the uh, a sketch of the body and head. Um, and I'm just drawing it. Look at that. Look at that. All these patterns. So this is what I normally do first. I go through kind of first I plan out to uh, sketch out all the main contours of the creature and then I uh, go through and add the actual lines. Bam! Look at that. This is using the pen tool. Previous to this I was using the uh, blob brush tool. I usually draw on a Surface Pro and uh, with a stylus or my finger or the awkward mouse pad. Uh, so yeah, I just draw lines like this. Notice that uh, some of the lines I just follow right through. Look at those tiny little teeth. Hard to draw the little things, but sometimes important. So usually what I do when I'm drawing is I'm looking at several different pictures at once for reference. You can't see me checking it out, but uh, that's what I do. Look at this. Now it's green. Woohoo! So I changed the leopard seal green because green is not really a color found in mammals and it just makes me it makes it a little easier for me to see what the different shapes are and uh, what I'm going through and doing right now is merging each of the shapes and trying to get rid of all of the little hidden lines that happen when you uh, divide all of these lines. You get weird little things just showing up. So here I uh, realized, hey, maybe this wasn't a super accurate way to draw the tail. Let's change it. So I changed it. Added another line, did some dividing, did some remerging. And uh, after that, I start changing the colors. You can't see the color box, mostly as a consequence of me using Xbox Live to record in Adobe Illustrator, which is not a game. But there you go. Again, I look at several reference photos at once for this kind of stuff, and I read the descriptions for the animal, kind of ref refresh myself on uh, you know their ecology, and also get an idea of what is the... I guess you could say standard appearance for an animal, like what is considered the norm. I try not to draw the outliers too much or ever, I guess, technically. And, uh, you know, I go back and I change a lot of things. In fact, here in a second, once I get this uh, mouth part straightened out, you'll see me change all of the colors at once, sort of. Now, my two rules when I'm picking colors is that I don't use straight white and I don't use straight black on anything besides nostrils and eyes. I mean, I don't use white for anything but eye shine. But uh, eyes and nostrils, occasionally lips. If the animal has lips or has lips that seem integral to the design. I do skip over a lot of things. Uh, like, I try to be a little economical with the details if I can. So stuff like feet, noses, I try not to spend a whole lot of time on that unless it's just really significant to the animal's appearance. Like an elephant, yes, I would spend time on that nose, definitely. Like wolverines, known for the claws, so I put claws on them feet. So here I am, drawing spots in super fast speeds. Usually with an animal that's got a complex pattern like spots, I will uh, go ahead and treat the spots as a different layer. 
most of the artwork I do is in a single layer. Um, even this isn't technically a different layer, but I, you do have two objects over each other at this point. That's not usually the norm for me, but it will be the norm for me once I get into the cat type animals because all those darned filiforms have all these spots and stripes. It's crazy. But again, I don't do this for every animal because some animals just their pattern doesn't necessitate this kind of uh, technique per se. So here I am adding more spots. What you didn't see in the middle of this or what you might only have seen for a moment is that my computer crashed and uh, had to draw some of the spots again. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to create a mask for the spots because I don't want the spots on every single part of the body. Also, I decided to fix this because I felt like it needed to be fixed. I didn't pay enough attention to it the first time. And so I fixed it. This animal actually took me longer than usual. That was my fault. Also spots. Which is a big sort of, you could say it's a common element in seals. You know, the foxes had the eyeliner, the seals have spots. So here I am resizing it to fit into my normal display thing. And here I am about to be super lazy and instead of actually making the color box um, like I should, I'm just going to open an older file that has all of the colors. Here I opened Mustela, and I'm just going to copy and paste a box. Like, why do the extra work, right? I do occasionally do the extra work and go into my sketchbook and find the codes for the nine colors that I use. I think it's nine, but sometimes I don't. So here's here it is, Leopard Seal, Furious Sock Puppet of Danger. Alright, so thank you so much for watching. To help support me in my quest to draw as so many animal species, head on over to patreon.com slash thefaunalfrontier. And if you want to keep seeing me draw animals, hit that beautiful subscribe button. And if you want to see more of my artwork, head over to thefaunalfrontier.com. Thank you. Have a good day.